Oh boy, wrong room. Chained Echoes is a pixelated turn-based JRPG in which you pilot a flying armor, fight strange creatures straight out of your Pokédex, with a cast of likable and unique characters in a grim and brutal story that even puts Game of Thrones to shame. I am Dorian the Explorer, and today we jump onto a flying ship, traveling the world, trying to find the answer to the question if Chained Echoes is for you. A world in turmoil, raging war and constant threats in form of power-hungry politicians and evil royalists are just a few similarities the world of Chained Echoes has with ours. Following Glenn and his newly found companions, he'll try to stop a chain of unfortunate events while a magical and mystical threat looms over the continent of Valandis. Through well-written and sometimes quite emotional cutscenes, you'll see yourself getting more and more invested in a 30 plus hour campaign, while some of the game's features aren't even unlocked in the first 8 hours of playtime. However, before any one of you gets disheartened, the few missing features are first of all logical story-wise and secondly not needed since the base combat system is extremely enjoyable from the get-go. Running into the visible encounters without any loading screen or terrain changes, you'll start the turn-based combat of Chained Echoes, which excels with its fast-paced style and the main tactical component, the overdrive bar. Each action specifically moves the cursor on this bar, with your goal being in the green area resulting in an increased damage output, a decreased damage input and a lower resource cost of the special skills each character has. Stepping into the red zone makes your group more vulnerable and less effective on the offensive. Each enemy has a higher or lower resistance against specific attacks, which is why your active group of four can be swapped out with a connected ally, giving you more flexibility on the battlefield. It wouldn't be a JRPG if your characters weren't able to perform outrageous attacks, so during the tactical battles you can gain the upper hand with such decimating moves straight out of, well, any other JRPG. With each character being able to wear specific weapons and armor, as well as jewelry and a class emblem which you unlock through different trials and exploration, the customization might seem limiting at first, however this equipment can be upgraded and enhanced with crystals to customize your character's combat power. The stats as well as the skills themselves can be specifically enhanced through two resources which can be obtained through battles, mean story progression and the reward board, which rewards you for exploring, taking down unique bosses and fulfilling side missions. Jained Echoes might fulfill your JRPG wish with its sword, shield and magical combat, but lets you experience one more brilliant area, piloting a mech. With a change in the combat system, with three gears to switch around, each with their own strategic component, the Sky Armors are far more than simple powerhouses. The traveling and exploration in Valandis obtains another layer, with the flying machines being able to reach higher or lower areas. With many weapons and color palettes to choose from, you and your group are equipped and ready to join the resistance against the country's oppressors, zigzagging across the huge map of Valandis and its many biomes. Jained Echoes brilliantly combines its fast-paced combat with deep customization systems, an amazing exploration-heavy world and a well-written mystical story which is able to fill you with pure hatred for 16-bit characters. Jained Echoes released on the 8th of December 2022 and is available on Switch, PlayStation and Xbox as well as PC for an affordable $24.99. If you liked what you saw, consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel for more videos like this one. Thank you all for watching and wish you a great day or evening.